Street signs. We see them every day as we drive and walk along the roads of the city. But did you ever stop to think about why they are where they are? In this edition of FAQ, we answer that question. I feel like the slow sign is very vibrant and everyone kind of sees it because it's out in the road. Coon Rapids resident Brianna Barta has one of those popular Step 2 Kid Alert safety signs which she believes helps to slow drivers down. We use it every single time the kids are out playing. Whether Brooklyn's riding her bike or we're just sitting outside with the neighbors, we use it fairly frequently. It's not hard for drivers to see this sign. I know that they won't go like all the way down like really fast. Um, so they'll just go like slow. So I know that I'm safe because they know that I'm here and they kind of respect the property. In years past, the city had installed watch for children signs in neighborhoods where it was determined there was a need. Hello, this is Mark. Assistant City Engineer Mark Hansen says the city receives dozens of requests each year by property owners and residents who want a street sign. A lot of people request watch for children signs. Um, we get a lot of requests for stop signs. Uh, we get a lot of requests for no parking. Cities across Minnesota have relied on studies which have found warning signs like these are not working. Research has been done that shows these types of warning signs are not very effective and has no bearing on the speed of traffic or, or driver behavior on local streets. Due to this research, fewer signs have been going up on city streets in recent years, but when street sign requests do come in, a traffic review committee meets periodically to review the requests and base decisions on a variety of factors. Stop signs can only be installed through the passage of an ordinance, but that would be based on meeting the criteria of traffic volume, crash history, and engineering judgment. In the challenge to help slow traffic down, many residents have called the Coon Rapids Police Department for some high-tech help. Oftentimes that's how we choose where to put the speed trailer out is when we get citizens calling us uh, complaining it's one of our number one complaints in Coon Rapids is obviously traffic related uh, driving conduct. The speed trailer uses an onboard computer which collects data used by the department. Basically it shows us the speed of the car, the time of the day, um, we can get a traffic count as a result of a uh, general idea of how many cars are out there and so we can kind of get a, an idea of what time of day are people speeding more frequently on that road or not. If you're concerned about speedy drivers in your neighborhood, you can request the services of the speed trailer from the police department through an online form found on the city's website. And so we, we encourage our citizens to let us know when they think there's an issue on a street and we will, when we can, get it deployed uh, on their roadway that they're requesting. And that's going to help remind drivers of how fast they're going in the area and that they should really pay attention to driving in the 20 to 30 mile per hour speed limit or range. Police say oftentimes it's people who live right in the neighborhood who often don't realize how fast they're going because they're used to driving the same streets compared to if they were driving in a new neighborhood area. Police remind people to slow down for the safety of everyone. 